Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a little reaction to the new Detective Pikachu trailer, but before that I just wanted to take a second to acknowledge the passing of Stan Lee. It's, uh, it's no surprise that I am a, a huge fan of Marvel, I'm a huge fan of the classic comics, cartoons, the current stuff, and the incredible legacy that Stan Lee is leaving behind him. The recent run of Marvel movies have honestly just made me feel like a kid again. And it's honestly just been great to see him become just as much as a hero as the people and the characters that he's, you know, brought to light over the years. And I think it's incredible that he's been able to be a part of these fantastic film worlds that have been put together with the characters that he helped influence and, and bring to life over the years. So uh, rest in peace, Stanley. I hope you got a couple months of peace with all of the, the crap you had been dealing with. You definitely deserve to go out in the happiest way possible. I might end up making an entire video uh, talking about just kind of some of the stuff he's been going through recently, the legacy he left behind, and just different people's stories of how he affected their life. So if you have any Stanley stories or stories stories about how uh, various Marvel comics or specific Stan Lee characters have helped or affected your life, feel free to leave them down below. So let's, let's get on with it. All right, so a few months ago, I saw all of this Detective Pikachu stuff going down and I was like, there's no way. There is, there's no way that they're going to be bringing this to the big screen. There's no possible way. But sure enough, Ryan Reynolds is that guy, he is that guy, so we will be having a live action Pikachu, Detective Pikachu movie in the Pokemon universe, and it, it looks a little weird. Honestly, based on the still image I've seen of Pikachu, it really reminds me of that like fan-made live action Pokemon trailer that came out like years ago, like very similar to that. But let's have a look at the trailer, see, see what's going on here. So we're gonna get that started in three, two, and go. Welcome to Rhyme City. A celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Oh my god, the side. Tim, your dad was a legend in this precinct. If you were anything like your dad. I remember. You wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Pokemon yeah, posters. Really Pikachu worked bed. out. Someone there? Is that a stapler? Whoever you are, it's a stapler. Know how to use this? Oh, jeez. Here we oh. go. I know. God, he sounds like you drunk. can't understand me. But put down the stapler, or I will electrocute you. <laughs> it's like. Did you just <laughs> it's talk? It's like Deadpool Whoa. in Pikachu's body. Did you just understand me? Oh my god! You can understand me! Stop! No, I've been so lonely! They try to talk Why to me all the time. Like all they hear is Pika Pika. Pika. Oh, you yeah. can hear him, right? Pika Pika! Yeah! Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I love the little hat. I don't need a Pokemon, period. And what about a world-class detective? Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. We're gonna do this. You and me. There's magic that brought us together, and that magic is called hope. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes, okay, I can. Shoving. Pushing. My problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. <laughs> He's saying you can shove it. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 no we're not cops. <laughs> In my head, I saw that differently. No, no, don't eat Pikachu. I can't believe it. Okay, I... I obviously, I grew up with Pokemon. I was I was the Pokemon trainer in my day. Had all the games. I, I distinctly remember taking all my birthday money, going to buy a Game Boy Color, and getting Pokemon Red. And that just, that was the most amazing day of my life. You know, it was great. It was fantastic. Uh, many, many hours spent playing all the Pokemon games, like Pokemon Pinball, the Pokemon trading card game, but the game game, the physical Pokemon trading card game, with the cards, which I've been getting back into kind of buying because of Max Mofo Pokemon, it's 
terrible. But Pokemon's always gonna have like a nice soft spot for me. Like I'm, I'm obviously a, a huge, uh, can you see them, the Digimon? I, I'm obviously a huge Digimon fan. Uh, but you know, Pokemon was just, especially the games, like Pokemon was just that thing, you know, like that, that's a, when they say that, when they say it's a worldwide phenomenon, it, it is because it has stayed around for so long. I think it, it had like a little bit of a dip and then it just comes back with a vengeance anytime because there's so much nostalgia around it. It's still good for kids today. Adults still love it if they grew up with it. It's, it's right up there with like Harry Potter in terms of like, like cultural effect around the world. And to see a live action movie coming out like this is kind of surreal. Um, I feel like with a movie like this, you're gonna have to go in thinking this is Ryan Reynolds. So we're going into a Ryan Reynolds Pokemon movie in which Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu. And you just have to go along for the ride. This can't be like, luckily they're not trying to do like an Ash storyline. They're clearly going off the walls with the fact that like he can understand. It's like Pikachu is Meowth. Pikachu's mouth in this basically, in which like you can actually understand what he's saying, but it's only him that can understand what he's saying for some reason, and you just kind of got to go into it with that that in mind. I think that I think a lot of people are probably going to go in with this with pre-existing thoughts of what Pokemon should be in their heads, and I think for something like this, you're just going to have to go for the ride. And I think I'm hoping it'll be a great ride. We have to wait till summer of 2019 to find out, but I do think. It's gonna be a fun ride. It looks like we're gonna have some good mysteries going on with Detective Pikachu. We're gonna be trying to find a father who is a detective or at least a very high level cop. Gonna have that good old story of camaraderie, of people coming together in spite of their differences and adversaries. Adversaries? Adversities? Somebody having to get over the fact that he, he, even though he wanted to be a Pokemon trainer, clearly some stuff has happened to leave him in that like, no, I'm not gonna be a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna be it looks like a call center employee, but so he's gonna have to come to terms with that and get over whatever hangups he has. And then we're gonna have a fantastic Pokemon adventure. You know, I saw some Charizards. I saw a missing Squirtle. I saw some Bulbasaur's. You know, it was a good time. It was a good time and, and it seems quirky. The music choice is kind of setting up that kind of like quirky buddy adventure. I'm down for it. I am personally, down for it. I think that they did a really good job just kind of laying out a basics. Like you got, you got the basic premise, you know who the kid is, you know that he's struggling in life, that something's happened that stopped him on his journey of wanting to be a Pokemon trainer. You know his dad is missing and that he is not living up to what his father's image is. You know the Pikachu, for whatever reason, is in a state where no one can understand him, but he feels like they should be able to understand him. And then he finds this random person who can understand him. And the two need to go on an adventure to find the kid's dad. I think they laid, they laid out a perfect little intro story there. That is the perfect kind of teaser trailer. If they never showed anything else, I'd be happy, but we all know there's no way that's gonna happen. We're gonna see at least two more trailers for this movie before it comes out. But I think this was like the perfect kind of trailer. It laid out exactly what you need to know. Didn't show too much, didn't so, show too little, but I'm I'm excited, I'm excited. I'll go see it, hell, hell yeah, I'm gonna see it. What about you guys? Are you guys like super offended that they're trying to make a live action Pokemon movie? Do you think it's like a, bastardization of the of the franchise just let me know in the comment section down below and also leave your thoughts about stan lee and anything else you want to discuss mostly so thank you all so much for watching have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later